Christmas, Strange, and uh, Land Hick. Philippine mythology, according to Werner Array and Western Vizian folklore, the Am uh, and Hick, or Men uh, and Hick, aka Am and Men Hick, stroke Am Am Hit, a flightless Asamwang, a f- come back to life after death, a rise from the grave, a falling to pass. After failing to pass their power to relative, upon falling from the grave, they, these am the and the hig lurk in the woods and live as blood suckers. At night, they go to nearby villages to prey on the residents. Residents using their sharp, pointed tongue. Aside from the am hig or am rang origin, some deceased humans could turn into am am hig. These are people who died of a, with unfinished business or were murdered and come back for revenge. Now, Amahig, with unfinished business, were relentless in pursuing the persons they have chosen to fulfill their goals. Avenging Amahig, on the other hand, tickled their victims to death while sucking their life force. There's also, they also mimic the words of what people they encounter. Their presence is usually detected for the stench of their rotting flesh. The Amahig of stiff legs. They can't. They cannot bend. It has a wing. Amahig, however, are still fast and can't be unrun. If an Amahig chases you, climb a rotten, crooked tree to vent the creature from catching you. You can also jump into a river or any body of water since are known to keep the Amahig at bay. What can turn an Amahig into a heap of worms and maggots and must be destroyed before they can form back into a creature? According to one legend, a long time ago, before the Spanish came to the Philippines, chieftains ordered a priestess to create an army of warriors that couldn't be killed. Those immortals were created by killing only men and encrusting their bodies with dark soot, putting a strange pebble in their mouths and doing over other rituals. Over three days they came back to life with mindless walking corpses that died after accomplishing their task. <laughs>